Art lovers examining the work of a legend. A new Michelangelo exhibit at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York brings together one of the largest collections of the lesser known works of the man considered one of the most influential figures of Western art. There's this piece called The Torment of St. Anthony, believed to be Michelangelo's first painting. It was completed in 1487 when he was only 12 or 13 years old. But it's the original pencil on paper works that are the real draw. When he draws, he is forceful, he is expressive, he's a marble sculptor, so he uses uh, the chalk, especially with great force, on the paper, almost carving on the paper as if it were marble. Although he considered himself primarily a sculptor, Michelangelo was also called the divine draftsman and designer. At this exhibit, there are 133 of his drawings, many of which almost never go on public display because they are so rare and fragile. 450 years after his death, his drawings are often an overlooked part of the artist's work. It took the Metropolitan Museum of Art eight years to collect all of the Michelangelo pieces that are on display here. They mostly come from over 50 different art institutions and private collections, such as those from Queen Elizabeth and even the Vatican. An exhibition of this magnitude and importance is a global activity, and the Met has the resources, the commitment, the scholarship to do it. And it's part of our mission, it's part of our responsibility to serve the world in that way. And a chance for visitors to look closely at the drawings and the sketchbooks of one of the world's greatest artists to get a better sense where his ideas originated. Gabriel Zondo, Al Jazeera, New York.